I don't think customers have made it too confusing on purpose. Um, I think that's an organic process of um, a immature market growing up. And that's something that we see in lots of markets. Um, and again, um, I think we're coming full circle now where people need to understand and people want to have a simplified process. Um, simplified process in terms of um, I want my support included, a simplified process in terms of, for example, I want my bandwidth, I want my networking included, just simplifying everything down and also giving them the visibility into that um, simplified process. Um, because as you mentioned, that, that complexity builds up and we've seen it in other industries um, historically. Um, and then people tend to react against that. Um, you know, we've seen that in, uh, in the mobile phone industry. We've seen that in the um, um, energy industry. We've seen the complications of bills coming out. And then we've seen that um, take, go full circle um, um, because people just need that to be simplified to understand exactly what, uh, um, exactly what they're purchasing. And I really think we are now coming to the next level of cloud adoption with uh, cloud infrastructure and infrastructure as a service. The early adopters were the companies who had the ability to be able to manage and maintain their own infrastructure, their own um, code base, the ability to go out to a public cloud and um, script their own uh, new requirements. Um, and that's been great. That's really sort of led the charge within a lot of public cloud areas. Um, but I think what we're seeing now is that we're seeing the second level of adopters um, coming along, which really needs, we need to broaden the access for those, uh, for the infrastructure as a service um, uh, providers. And that really means, again, as I mentioned earlier, simplifying the ability, the, the management of those um, infrastructure as a service um, uh, infrastructure providers to give people visibility into the um, uh, infrastructure uh, in terms of the compute, what's actually being consumed. Um, to give them the role-based access controls, to manage the security, um, all of those elements that really um, historically have been uh, maintained by companies who have those resources internally, we need to really abstract that back and actually give those services back to the customer and abstract that layer to make it a lot easier for new people to onboard. Um, so they don't have to programmatically go in and design their infrastructure. They can simply go in and pick and choose what they want, understand what their requirements are, understand their utilization, understand their cost base and their charge back internally.